Uh, just woke up and uh, today uh, we're doing breakfast with a box of green cream. Oh, I want to sit down. Uh, I'm eating a cream puff today for breakfast. <clears throat> I have tea. Actually, good morning. It's uh, 8 15, and uh, today I'm gonna eat breakfast. I have here a box of cream puff. As you can see here. So, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and go on with my days. Mm. With this pandemic recently, it's been uh, okay, but at the same time, really, you have all this uh, time. I know some of you are going back to work. Yeah, good trip. Please stay safe. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna start my morning with this hundred puff. I'm gonna go for a hundred. Actually. This box of cream puff, it's 50. Right there. 50. 50 cream puff in here. Ah. Traveling for the past. Monster show <clears throat> has been extremely difficult. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> well, let me reach you the news while I eat my breakfast. <clears throat> Let me read you the news while I eat my breakfast. It, today is a uh, today is Monday, June the fifteenth. We are in the pandemic day hundred. I don't know what day is. It's been like a thousand days since the pandemic. Uh, I'm sure people are bored sitting at their house doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sitting at the house eating my cream puff, reading you the news. So let's go to Google News. I see Pete Davidson's The Kings of Staten Island pull from theaters. Okay. The Dow Jones Future sinks 500 points as market pullback continues. Airline and retail share decline. Okay. Stimulus, the second check update. How much can you get? Payment timeline. The latest news. <clears throat> okay. Could this be the next major retail facing bankruptcy? Well, I know about this news. Apparently, JCPenney. Uh, and all the major store, retail store, is going out of business uh, in the next few months. Your favorite store like Men's Warehouse and uh, Depwy. No, not Depwy. <clears throat> there we go. A number of national retailers have already fought for bankruptcy during the pandemic, including J. Crew, uh, Nee Marcus. Neiman Marcus and Chase Penny. <clears throat> These are some of the biggest uh, retail store that's going out of business. So, if you like, 
this is your chance to get some good deals while they're <laughs> going out of business. Technically, with the bad, I'd say. If, if something's bad happened, I'm sure there's some good in it. So be opportunistic and do what you can. In this case, get some good clothes. Okay, next news. Oh, <clears throat> an Indian actor, Sathan Singh Prabhu, found unconscious in his Mumbai home. That's not good. Um, if anyone's a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants, which I am a big fan, there's a headline about celebrating LGBTQ plus community. Hmm. Okay, this celebrating Pride Month. That's cool. So check that out if you're interested. <clears throat> You can find out more of information on Googling Nick Nickelodeon uh, SpongeBob SquarePants LGBTQ plus. Check that out. <clears throat> Next news about gaming Xbox or PS3. Well, I have neither one. Um, Grow up, I've always wanted one. Uh, I've had a PS1 and then an Xbox. One and two, actually. But uh, the latest one's five, apparently. It looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks clean. Really clean. Well, if you're a gamer, check that out. Over here. Next news we have uh, well, Fox News. Fox News says Seattle rang six block down. So they're changing a street? They're changing this block. No, I don't know. The news is uh, it's kind of confusing to me sometimes. Apparently, this news, it's saying that these uh, people occupy these blocks. Next one. Not interested. <clears throat> okay. Sports news. Vanessa Bryan says family had to block fans account. Actually, in this case, it's accounts that have multiple fan accounts because of constant Kobe and Gianna pictures. Oh, okay, that's that's devastating. Uh, if you didn't know about Kobe Bryant, uh, he had an accident <clears throat> which resulted in a fatal uh, for him and his daughter a couple months back. Pretty tragic event. <clears throat> Um, okay, I'm next. GitHub. Get on board. Legitimizes movement aim at removing racially charged language. Okay. Next. Next one is about spies. Here it says, uh, according to Arts Technica, spies can eavesdrop by watching a light bulb variation. It says sophisticated eavesdropping techniques has grown steadily over the year. That's cool. Let's read into that. I'm gonna read a little segment here. <clears throat> it starts with the list of sophisticated eavesdropping techniques has grown steadily over years. Wire tappings, uh, hacked phone, bugs in wall, or bounce off laser off a of building glass to pick up conversation and sigh. And the next thing is a uh, light bulb in a room that can be uh, visible from a window 
and tell spies what a conversation is. Ice cold. Next. <clears throat> 24 hour finish, file for bankruptcy. Closes 100 gems. Irrelevant. I don't do any of this gem stuff, but if you are, check it out. Okay, this next one is pretty neat. It has to do with beef, and uh, I'm a fan of beef. I'm sure many are. Who likes burger? So, in New Jersey, the company is recalling nearly 43,000 pounds of raw beef product because of E. coli concern. That's a real tragic right there. If America runs out of beef, we'll be in real trouble. Real trouble. Where will we eat all our burger? You know. Next. All right, Windows 10 update. Mumbo Jumbo. Fox News, another news anchor, an ex CNN anchor, Soda O'Brien, told new tow network executive to only have the right kind of black guests. Okay, okay. Another high profile professional going down the drain because of the uh, Insensitive remarks. Next is about the U.S. Air Force. They're running out of F-22 stealth fighters. So if you are <clears throat> interested in flying or in the, the U.S. Air Force, check it out. I'm sure they're hiring and they want you to fly their F-22. Check it out if you got a chance. Well, my breakfast is about half. So as soon as I get my breakfast done and finish reading this news, I'm out of here. Now, <clears throat> I don't want to recommend eating cream puff, but if your morning starts bad, if your morning doesn't start at all, I recommend eating a bucket. In this case, it looks like a bucket, a tiny bucket. Eat a bucket, cream puff, and that will get you started your day real good. Nothing starts my day with a bucket of ice cream. There you go. Continue eating my cream puff and reading the morning news. Brought to you by Brewski. Check it out. Next. Melania Trump delayed moving to White House. Okay. Another president's family news. That's cool. That's cool. Hmm. Here's a good one. If you're a fan of the... Uh, the Harley Davidsons, and uh, you'd be happy to know Warren Buffett just loaned them 300 million during this crisis. Cool, very cool. Another President Trump news by CNN. Okay. Here's a cool one. Britney Spear. If any one of you know Britney Spear, then you're probably a thousand years old, like I am. I'm in my 30, by the way. <clears throat> Creator of popular petition to replace Confederate statues with Britney Spears. Okay, that is pretty cool. And this is happening in New Orleans. So, <laughs> they got some interesting uh, thing going on there. Now, by the way, I lived there for uh, a couple of years. Fantastic place. 
So check it out if you get a chance. Uh, next news topic. Astronaut Falcon 9 rocket. Okay, that's a cool rocket thing. Well, guys, <clears throat> the news, it's done. Well, I have a last one here. Let's say, well, let me see. The Watch OS 7 everything we know ahead so the cool thing about <clears throat> today is that uh, it revolves around smartwatch and uh, if you can see here this one is my uh, it's a eye touch it's like a generic brand name <clears throat> smartwatch uh, I'm not advertising but uh, I just got this recently and I wanted to tell you about it uh, it's got pedometer, it's got a heart rate monitor, it's got an oxygen meter. Uh, you can read a message on here. You can do, uh, you can change the interface. Uh, the cool thing about this, it lasts, it's about uh, the battery life is very long, roughly 20 days on a full charge, and it takes about 10 minutes to charge. So I find it pretty cool. If you like smartwatch, this comes in about $50 for a smartwatch with all these functions. So check it out uh, on their website, itouch.com. Well, we are at the uh, conclusion here. I've uh, got my breakfast. Finished about mm, maybe like a two thirds. The time right now is, look at my smartwatch, 8.30. I'm gonna get on with my days. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, then I'll read the move. <clears throat> so I just got finished reading the news, and I should be on my way. So tomorrow, be back with another news reading for you. Bye bye. Uh, we just finished about a third of our cream puff box. I'm pretty full. We finished reading the news. So uh, come back tomorrow and check out another eating breakfast and reading the news with Bruce Guyah. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you have a good day and be safe and bye-bye.